for the records, the police has not acted in the matter of the shooting incident at Awutu Senya East involving Hawa Kumsin. She was not invited. She was not arrested. The information we have is that the police officers rather went to her residence to speak with her. That is not how criminals are supposed to be treated by our law enforcement agencies. If Dr. Annan, our parliamentary candidate for Efutu, for uttering mere words, not firing a gun, not assaulting anybody, not causing unlawful damage to any property, for merely uttering words, criticizing the police officer who has become a pliant tool in the hands of Afenio Markin. If he can be arrested and with the speed of light arraigned before a court of competent jurisdiction, charged with offensive conduct and all that, are you telling me that the Minister of State who goes to a polling station without any provocation, without any provocation, because I've listened to cor your correspondence, including co the correspondent for Joy FM and other media houses who were there, that there was no provocation of any sort at that center. Before she got there with her goons, there was absolute peace and calm at that voting center. There had not been any violent incident at that voter registration center that day. She gets there, pulls a gun, shoots sporadically at people. And please, those shots were not warning shots. I've listened to correspondents of Abdom FM, Joy News, and other media men who have been at the scene. We've seen bullets which have pierced through containers. If those shots were warning shots, we wouldn't have seen that evidence at the scene. And so these were targeted shots aimed at taking out the targets. The woman says that she can't even identify the gun she fired because her police escort had not come to work at the time. She can't even identify the gun, meaning that the gun is not licensed to her name. Because if a gun has been licensed to your name, you you obviously be able to identify it. So you unlawfully offload a gun in a public place, disrupt a voter registration exercise. She went there together with thugs who don't belong to our law enforcement agencies, who bent motorcycles belonging to bystanders, bystanders, attacked NDC polling agents and supporters there, maimed some of them. And you are saying what? She's been invited by the police. What has become of that invitation? If indeed it was an invitation. Because it wasn't an invitation. The police rather went to her house. So we know that because this is a well thought out orchestration being supervised by President Ekufuado himself, who is commander in chief, she will be left off the hook like the several other MPP criminals, Honorable Elvis Efri Ankara mentioned, who have committed, who have been left of the whoop despite the atrocities they have committed against NDC supporters and innocent civilians. And that is why we are serving notice. You see, when you talk about things like this, people say, oh, you are complaining too much. You are talking too much. We are in opposition. We bet this fourth Republican democracy. And as a responsible opposition, a law-abiding political party, it is our, our responsibility to continuously highlight these acts of violence, these cruel acts which have the tendency to plunge this country into chaos and doom. It is our responsibility to do so, and that is why we are doing it.